Us Champions of Change event. My name is Sarah Jarik. I'm a senior policy advisor at the Department of Housing and Urban Development. I was not supposed to welcome you today. Ophelia Bascal, our Region 9 Director at Hyde from San Francisco, is actually, her flight was delayed. I expect she'll be here for the ceremony, and when she does, we'll welcome her up to the stage. Um, in the meantime, you get me, and, and I'll say that uh, not only am I thrilled to be here on behalf of HUD, but I'm thrilled to be here as a uh, trained housing counselor, formerly from a HUD certified agency. Not that the agency's formerly HUD certified. <laughs> The White House Champions of Change program is fairly new. It was started by President Barack Obama to recognize ordinary people who do extraordinary things for others. Uh, they've recognized um, champions in the field of child nutrition, in education, in other areas. And this is the first Champions of Change event that's been done outside the White House. The President and the White House staff realized that this event should be done where we can have an audience of counselors as well. So we're very, very happy to be here today. It's a wonderful thing to recognize 11 extraordinary individuals who you will meet shortly, one of whom you will meet on video and reading their biographies, which are in your packets and which will, longer stories on the White House website, will uh, be a very humbling experience for those of us who are not housing counselors. I hope it will be an inspiring experience for those of you who are. Um, we're recognizing today not only these champions of change, but recognizing thousands of housing counselors working for HUD approved agencies. Every housing counselor is a change agent, making Americans' lives better by empowering them with objective information to address their financial and housing needs in today's tough economy. On behalf of all of us at the Department of Housing and Urban Development, I want to thank you for what you do. The Obama administration is committed to provide financial and programmatic support for housing counselors. At a time when millions of Americans remain confused by housing finance and feel they have fewer housing choices than ever, as they continue to be victimized by scams, the work of qualified housing counselors remains critical to the recovery of the housing market and of families affected so severely by the Great Recession. Yet I know that some of your organizations are under tremendous financial pressure just to keep your doors open and have even had to lay off wonderful housing counselors because funding has become so scarce. That is a tragedy. At HUD, we are setting up a new Office of Housing Counseling to provide dedicated support for the network of 2,600 HUD-approved counseling agencies. The President's budget for fiscal 2013 includes a request of $55 million for housing counseling grants, training, and capacity building. We know that's not enough, but it's as much as we can responsibly ask for given the pressures on the federal budget. Working with you then, we're trying to find other ways to reduce the costs that you spend because of HUD's rules and policies. In fact, there's another class of champions I want to recognize here today. That's the staff of HUD. Under the leadership of Acting FHA Commissioner Carol Galante, they are as passionate about the value of housing counseling as you are. HUD's committed to being your partner to make sure housing counselors are supported with quality training, streamlined reporting, systems that work, and programs and policy improvements based on objective outcomes analysis. Please join me in thanking the HUD staff for their commitment to the program. And I want the HUD staff to please stand up. And of course, those HUD staff
staff or representative of many hundreds of others across the country who also contribute to the program. Today's really about the housing counselors, though, who are all champions of change. The White House identified 11 of them who have amazing stories to tell and who represent the value of HUD's program. I want to extend the recognition to each and every housing counselor. You are all champions of change. We are very pleased to present a proclamation to each of you that you'll hear about later for every HUD-approved counseling organization in order to recognize the important work you do day in and day out to change America for the better. Before we have Carol Galante come up to introduce our champions and Rafael Bostic, our Deputy Assistant Secretary for Policy, Development, and Research, to uh, talk to you more about the proclamation, I'd like to introduce another special part of the Champions of Change event. Valerie Jarrett has sent us a taped address via the White House. She's the Senior Advisor to President Barack Obama holds the position of Assistant to the President for Intergovernmental Affairs and Public Engagement and manages the White House Office of Public Engagement, the Office of Intergovernmental Affairs, Office of Urban Affairs, and chairs the White House Council on Women and Girls and the White House Office of Olympic Par Paralympic and Youth Sport. In fact, she sounds like a housing counselor wearing at least 20 different hats all at the same time. Ms. Jarrett brings greetings from the White House. If you'd please roll the tape. Good afternoon. I'm Valerie Jarrett, Senior Advisor to President Barack Obama. I'd like to thank HUD and the Neighborhood Works Training Institute for helping to make today's event possible. And I want to thank all of you for the work you do in your communities each and every day. Throughout my career in both the public and the private sector, I've been deeply involved in housing issues, and I've seen how hard housing counselors work. You help prevent evictions and foreclosures, you help tenants understand their rights, you help borrowers repair their credit, senior citizens manage changing finances, and new buyers understand the home buying process. In short, you help make the American dream a reality. On behalf of President Obama, thanks for all the important work that you do. I know none of you do it for the recognition. You do it because your work changes lives. And with that in mind, I want to acknowledge our champions of change who represent the importance of housing counselors to our communities and our country. I hope you have a wonderful event today. My name is Raphael Bostic. I'm the Assistant Secretary for Policy, Development, and Research. It is a tremendous privilege to be here and an honor to be in your presence. You guys uh, have done tremendous work, and uh, it's not every day we get to acknowledge the hard work that, that people do uh, in typically unsung ways. And so it's really a privilege to be here. It's also really uh, good for me to be here because this Los Angeles is my home when I'm not doing the Washington meeting, so I'm really pleased to for financial stability, for housing stability, for neighborhoods, and for economic growth. We run the whole gamut, and if we've seen anything in the, through the, the course of this uh, economic crisis is that housing and home ownership and bad decisions around housing and home ownership have, uh, can have critical and devastating impacts for all of us. So the work that you do and the difference that you make uh, is really something that is critical for all of us. And, and it's uh, with that in mind, I think that it caught the, the White House is in the President's attention that this was a group of people that really merited some, some real uh, lifting up and calling out for good work. Um, I'm in the Office of Policy Development Research. Uh, I, my, my group does research on a host of areas. We've been working on housing issues since 1968. Uh, and the evidence is pretty clear. The housing counseling is, uh, money spent on housing counseling is money well spent. For every dollar spent on housing counseling, my folks estimate it's over $300 worth of benefit or not, or not else. Um, it's a huge bang for the buck. 
And uh, you know, when, when I talk about housing costing, I challenge people to find something that's more cost effective. And so uh, we need to always be making that case so that uh, as we move forward, we get the sufficient and appropriate level of resources devoted to this sort of activity. I'm also pleased to be here because this is a neighborhoods event. And uh, as you may or may not know, HUD has a standing representative on the board of directors for NeighborWorks, and that's been me for the last year or so. Um, and so it is, uh, it's always it's been a tremendous privilege to work with NeighborWorks. They do great work uh, in partnership with you, and uh, so I'm really pleased to be a, a, a part of this program. Uh, my job is to stand in for my secretary. Secretary Donovan is uh, sorry that he couldn't be here, uh, but he felt that this was an important event and so he is issuing a proclamation of appreciation. And it's my job to read it to you. And this proclamation will be sent to every HUD approved housing housing agency. Uh, and it will be something to really broadly acknowledge how important your work is to us and to the country. So um, let me read it. By the Secretary of the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, a statement of appreciation. This statement of appreciation is given in recognition of the dedication and commitment of the housing counselors working at 2,630 unapproved housing counseling agencies across the nation for making a difference daily in the lives of millions of Americans. From serving on the front lines of the battle against foreclosure since the housing crisis began, to assisting homeowners and tenants to improve their housing conditions, we owe a debt of gratitude to skilled, objective, and knowledgeable housing counselors. The tireless support of housing counselors helping distressed homeowners to understand foreclosure prevention options and to avoid loan modification scams provides a lifeline to millions of families struggling to keep their home. Dedicated to serving, housing counselors educate and assist individuals and families navigate the complex process for sustainable home ownership, guiding renters and potential homeowners in managing their housing choices, counselors provide critical information on rights and responsibilities, the importance of savings, ways to manage credit and debt responsibly, and how to be a good neighbor. Honoring the valuable contributions housing counselors offer within communities across the country and their continued commitment to outstanding service to meet the nation's housing needs. On behalf of the American people, we give a sincere thank you to housing counselors and the HUD-approved agencies that support and train them. Thank you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce a, a colleague and a friend, a fellow Californian, and someone who has provided tremendous leadership around issues of housing policy, uh, not only during her time at uh, the Department of Housing and Development, but for many, many years as an affordable housing developer, as a champion for people in need. Uh, Carla Galante, the Acting Assistant Secretary for Housing and FHA Commission. <laughs> Let me thank uh, NeighborWorks for their uh, very generous uh, cooperation and unstinting support here uh, to provide the facilities for this event, uh, staffing, helping, pulling it all together on top of all the work they were already doing, uh, putting on the uh, training institute. So uh, first to uh, Eileen Fitzgerald, the very dynamic CEO of NeighborWorks of America, thank you so much. Supported by just a fabulous team, including Paul Keeley, Jana Bauer, Kim Honor, uh, for uh, all your work uh, today. And I, they're probably in the corners hiding somewhere, uh, given everything uh, that they have to do. But again, thank you so much, NeighborWorks, for uh, helping us put this together. And again, I want to uh, echo Sarah's uh, thanks to the uh, incredible HUD staff uh, led here today by uh, Jerry. You want to stand again, uh, thanking uh, on behalf of uh, all the 
had staff who work on housing counseling, counseling and uh, Ruth Roman, who's back in Washington, D.C., who uh, is one of our fearless leaders in the housing counseling world. And last but not least, I really do want to just mention Sarah Jarek, who was standing in here for Ophelia. Um, Sarah has just recently joined us at HUD, and you, as you heard, uh, is a certified housing counselor, really gets uh, what HUD needs to be uh, as a partner to housing counseling agencies. And so we are really looking forward to um, having Sarah help uh, us further the work of housing counseling in a way that uh, will really make a difference uh, for all of you. We know it's uh, not just about the grant dollars you receive from HUD because we know that those dollars are much smaller than we would all like. And so we have been convening meetings across the country. In fact, uh, we did one here in Los Angeles uh, probably three or four months ago talking uh, directly to housing counseling agencies about uh, what your needs are and how we can simplify rules and how we can be more helpful, uh, again, as I said, as a partner. And I just want you to know that we get it. The HUD staff gets it and uh, we're advocates for you and the programs. Uh, that you need and we're going to continue to uh, provide that work, uh, that partnership uh, as we go along. And I, I want to just mention uh, one important initiative I can share with you today as an example of the kinds of things that we are uh, committed to doing on an ongoing basis to make it easier for you um, in the application process and in reporting. And uh, we have decided that we are uh, going to eliminate the logic model from the... Uh... So let me just say this is definitely going to apply to 2013, and we are working on, uh, for the grants that will be awarded for 2012, we are working on um, eliminating it for that too, but I don't, I don't have a 100% guarantee of that yet, but we are uh, working on it, as I just want to say, uh, HUD staff, the housing counseling staff is a strong advocate uh, for making the kind of change uh, that uh, you all need to uh, be as productive as, as possible. Uh, the last thing I want to say about um, uh, HUD counseling program before we get to the meet here where I get to have the exciting job of introducing uh, the champions of change is uh, not only do we uh, provide grant funding, but uh, we're, we're also involved in approving HUD counseling agencies, as you know, and more than 100 entities apply to, uh, to be certified HUD counseling agencies each year, and uh, between 30 and 60 are approved. And we believe that our approval is a meaningful uh, act and that it should be acknowledged as such if you get through that process, uh, then it should mean something. And um, we you know, really are committed to continuing to improve that uh, certification process so that uh, we can ensure that we have uh, housing counseling agencies and housing counselors that we know are going to be uh, successful and are going to provide the kind of work that uh, consumers need, which is you know, education, discipline, uh, behavioral change, uh, teaching people how to uh, keep a budget, save, plan for repair, all of, all of the rights of tenants, how not to be discriminated against, what's to, what to do if you are discriminated against, and all of these activities we know are just essential to an educated group of people who uh, know their know their rights and being a certified housing uh, counseling uh, agency and individual uh, is a, a very important important role uh, in our society so with that it is my great privilege to get to introduce today the 11 housing counselors who are the embodiment of the champions of change they come from all across the country they work in urban areas, rural areas, with homeless families, renters, owners, seniors, families with children, and veterans. They provide unbiased advice for those thinking about buying or renting, and they provide assist assistance when unemployment, illness, and yes, the unfamiliar and unaffordable mortgage forces uh, are make difficult choices. They prevent eviction, 
They help homeless families find permanent housing. And yes, even today, they help first-time home buyers find an affordable, responsible mortgage. I'm going to call up each champion up to the podium. I'm going to read a few words about their work. And then we're going to give them a minute or so, uh, if they wish, uh, to share a story or a brief piece of advice to their peers here in the room and to the Americans uh, across the country who may be watching uh, this event. Uh, and a much longer bio of each of the champions uh, is in your package and will also be available on the White House website. And uh, we will uh, then be also giving you a uh, letter and a picture from the President of the United States. Uh, so uh, please remain on stage so we can uh, take a group picture at the end uh, as well. So with that, let me start with the first uh, champion, uh, Larry Douglas has been the housing program manager for the Chester Community Improvement Project in Chester, Pennsylvania for the past 13 years. As a certified HUD pre-purchase counselor, he has assisted over 650 families to fill or maintain their dream of home ownership. CCIP is a community-based, nonprofit, HUD-approved housing counseling agency whose mission is to help revitalize the city of Chester by building the base of home ownership. Larry helps accomplish one of CCIP's mission by working with families to qualify as first-time home buyers in beautiful, newly constructed developments. As they sit together at the mortgage closing table, Larry congratulates the new homeowner and realizes that he is part of something much bigger and that helping families is his gift and passion. Congratulations, Larry. Some are facing foreclosures, 
others want to buy their first home, and others still seek suitable rental housing. Dottie enjoys helping families and bringing a wealth of knowledge about the housing and lending industry. The tough economic climate requires Dottie to understand what options exist to help her clients and to encourage them to have the patience and fortitude to meet their goals. Dottie, congratulations. Thank you. I really appreciate me, all of you coming here today. Um, thank you, Carol. I want to thank HUD and NeighborWorks for all of the work that they do in educating all of us and providing what we need to help families. So thank you to them. I'm very proud and very honored to be here representing you, representing housing counselors. I know the work that we're doing here, and I, I find it so incredibly important. Um, I wish to thank the White House and their staff for even considering us, housing counselors, to make us champions of change and being part of their winning at the Future Across America campaign. So go to the website and look at all of these incredible people that they're honoring. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we are in challenging times, and the roles of housing counselors in educating and guiding and assisting families is more important than ever. Uh, I thank all of you for being here, all of the housing community advocates, all the housing counselors who are so passionate and dedicated about their work, who work tirelessly. We know the hours we put in. We know what we're going through trying to help these families to sustain. So we're going to be helping to build strong communities, one family, one dwelling at a time. And that's what we're here to do. So over the past four years, I've been doing housing counseling. And I've heard many tragic stories from families who I had the privilege to meet and to try to help them with foreclosure prevention. That is my main focus in the job that I have currently, and I'm very proud to do it. Um, all of these stories are equally important, so it was difficult for me to pick one to tell to you today, and I'm sure you've heard many of them yourself, personal experience. But I had a couple in their mid-60s who came to me just a few months ago, and they were both receiving Social Security. And they both were still working, which I'm not surprised to hear in this current economic environment. So the husband was a chef in a local restaurant in Virginia Beach, not a chain or anything, just a local family-owned restaurant. The wife was self-employed. She was doing seamstress work. And I've come to find out her work is incredible because I've actually had her do some work for me after I met with her. Uh, they both suffered from income reduction due to the economy. So, like many, they've been increasing their debt load, trying to sustain They've gotten to the point where they owe more on their mortgage than their home is currently worth, so it limits what they can do to try to resolve that situation. Um, at one point, I guess, they started missing payments, and then they realized maybe they could try to seek some help out. So they applied to their lender for a mortgage modification on their own. The husband was the only borrower listed on the mortgage. So when they got all the paperwork from the lender, they started filling it out. And they said, well, maybe we don't include the wife's income, her self-employed income on here. So they submitted all their paperwork to the lender and they waited. And in the meantime, uh, they were on the verge of foreclosure and a sale had been posted. So they were very anxious and in a panic, they went searching on the internet. Well, thank goodness they actually went to the HUD website and found the list of HUD approved housing counselors and not a scammer. And they ended up contacting Virginia Beach Community Development Corporation, who I work for, the nonprofit I work for. So at our first two-hour appointment, uh, we pretty much went over everything, and I reviewed what they had sent to the lender, and I quickly determined that they had not used the wife's income at all. They were just using the Social Security and his little bit of income from the job that he had, the part-time job that it had become. So at that point, we called the lender right there and then at the meeting. And I begged the lender to wait, take a look at what was going on with their finances, and give us an opportunity to submit some documentation so that they could be reviewed for a modification. And please postpone the sale. That's always the cry now. Please, please postpone the sale. Just give us 30 days. Just take a look at this. So with that, um, we did. We were able to help prepare a new modification package with all the proper documentation. And uh, if you're doing this kind of work, you know what a burden that is. Never mind how the homeowners are trying to do it on their own. I just have no idea. 
Um, and they were able to obtain a making home affordable modification and they reduced their payment $1,000 per month. Although this is more than the national average, they tell us, of what people are getting with this program, it does reflect the lender's willingness to assist with payment affordability, uh, home retention, once given an accurate picture of what these people's sustainability was. So I'm, I'm very happy for that. I'm very glad to be doing the work. This family had an additional challenge in trying to negotiate through this whole paperwork mess and trying to get some kind of a modification. They're Asian immigrants, and English is not their first language. They did not understand what was going on, what was being asked of them, uh, what to fill out on the paperwork, even was it was a task to them. So um, I'm really happy that they did come to me, and I really, truly hope that more American families will seek out HUD-approved housing counseling agencies and the work that we do. We are saving folks. We really are. So with that, I thank you all, and I thank you, Jenkins, for the work you do. Thank you so much, Dottie. Um, Ophelia, why don't you come on up here? We have uh, Ophelia Pascal, our regional administrator from Region 9 in San Francisco, who has arrived, who can uh, help give out uh, these certificates with me. Uh, so the next uh, housing counselor uh, is Charlotte O'Donnell, who manages a HUD-approved housing counseling program at Colorado Housing Assistance Program in Denver, Colorado. She's been engaged in housing counseling and education for 25 years, including many different roles in nonprofit and private uh, sector initiatives. Charlotte's years of experience lead her to seek out valuable partnership opportunities to help families in their community. She has worked closely with the Colorado Mortgage Lenders Association, the Foreclosure Task Force, the Colorado Blue Ribbon Panel, Housing Colorado, Colorado Housing Finance Authority, and other organizations throughout the state. Through these connections, the positive impact of housing counseling is high, regarded highly by the private sector stakeholders, such as lenders and realtors, and CHAC is able to offer more assistance. Congratulations, Charlotte. Never forget this effort that we put forth. 
I'd like to just say thank you on behalf of my Colorado Housing Council colleagues, and I'd also like to say thank you on behalf of all housing councilors sitting here and nationally. On behalf of all of them, I truly thank you so much. This is such a wonderful honor after 25 years. Next champion is uh, Ruben Andre uh, Jr., who uh, joined NeighborWorks Waco, a HUD-approved housing counseling agency and a member of the Neighbor NeighborWorks Network in March 2008, where he currently serves as a bilingual home ownership specialist providing superior pre-purchase counseling and education for future homeowners, as well as working extensively with existing homeowners facing foreclosure. Throughout the past four years, he has uh, counseled over 500 families in the state of Texas, where he remains a strong and compassionate advocate for families. Ruben also serves as a senior pastor at Family of Faith Worship Center. He has served on a variety of nonprofit boards in the community relating to the areas of education, mentoring, early childhood development, hunger, homelessness, and fatherhood. Ruben is the former executive director for the Central Texas Fatherhood Initiative. In 2009, he received his neighbor work certification in foreclosure prevention and default counseling. Congratulations, Ruben. Texas, and so I, from day to day, utilize my pastoral 
um, skills to be able to um, facilitate these counseling sessions. And I'm telling you that I've heard it from being suicidal to marriage to divorces and you name it. It's all been in my office. Uh, but it's, it's always good to hear um, the stories such as this veteran when he quoted after being interviewed several weeks later that it was, if it was not for a hundred proof counseling agency such as NeighborWorks Waco that perhaps him and his family would be living under a tree in a tent. And it, that just brings great joy and satisfaction to me because when I do have those moments when I think that, man, what am I doing? Uh, this is not working. And we all know that the response from the services is delayed. It's moments like that when you see the individual walk out of your house and say, thank you so much. What can I do? And uh, so I just want to, again, thank um, everyone who uh, had part in this and, again, for just the opportunity to be able to serve the families across America because many of them have, have had the opportunity of to, to obtain the American dream, but many of them have lost that American dream through foreclosure. But thanks to HUD for the funding and everyone else, as I said, for the opportunity to continue to serve families across America. Thank you. I would next like to welcome uh, Helen Taylor. Uh, Helen is Program Director and Comprehensive Housing Counselor at Northeast Denver Housing Center, a HUD-approved housing counseling agency in Colorado. With 13 years experience in the mortgage industry and over 10 years uh, of direct service in housing counseling, Ms. Taylor has also held leadership positions in the industry and has served two terms as Treasurer for the Colorado Housing Counseling Coalition. Helen has earned the reverse mortgage counseling certification, which required her to pass a very rigorous national exam. Helen is grateful for programs such as Making Home Affordable, the Emergency Home Loan Program, and the Neighborhood Stabilization Act that have stabilized the community and for helping so many worthy families remain in their home. Helen? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm a little shy, so yeah, my family doesn't think so. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting an Oscar. Okay, so thank you, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> and I really would like to thank HUD for eliminating that logic model. <laughs> on this position, and I'll be honest with you, I've never heard of a housing counselor and what they did. And when I found out what they did, I just went for it, and I've been doing this for 10 years. As a housing counselor, we are mediators, we're advocates, we're a resource, and we're a friend to these clients. I have clients that I've seen for eight years, they still call me, they refer other people to me, and they just call and say hello. That is priceless. Housing counselors, you guys deserve kudos. We all do. So thank you. Thank you. It's been a long time coming. Thanks, uh, I guess it is like an Oscar. We're here in Los Angeles, you know. <laughs> Uh, so our uh, next champion is um, Hee Ju Jun, is the program director at Korean Resource Center, a national coalition for Asian Pacific American Community Development, HUD, a HUD approved organization, which serves predominantly low income, limited English proficient Korean American immigrants. Hee Ju joined the staff at KRC in January of 2005 after working nearly 12 years as a volunteer. She brings over two decades of experience in strategic planning, program planning evaluation, capacity building, fiscal management, fundraising, community outreach, and management of multicultural teams and projects. At KRC, he do manages workshops on foreclosure prevention, housing counseling, volunt uh, volunteer income tax assistance, and credit education, as well as individual counseling for hundreds of community members every year. 
Hee-Joo served as the National Executive Director of Korean Americans for Peace and Justice, as well as a board member of Keju uh, Food Co-op, and is a member of the Han Nuri Korean American Cultural Troupe. Congratulations, Hee-Joo. Uh, I used to be a debt collector. 
amongst other things. Uh, legal and good. But uh, I got out of that collection because I wanted to go to heaven, so. <laughs> to be amongst the chosen in our field. I graciously, graciously accept the honor of being recognized as a White House champion of change. I want to thank President Obama and his administration for their commitment on resolving the foreclosure crisis here in America. I would also like to thank the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, Neighbor Works America, our state housing finance authorities and local city governments and municipalities for providing exceptional training, certification, networking opportunities and supportive services to all housing counseling agencies and counselors across the country. The work that housing counselors do could not be achieved without the strong commitment from both of, the, of these agencies, from, sorry, from all of these agencies. I would also like to thank my organization, the Community, Development, the Community Action Program of Evansville and Vanderbilt County Incorporated, the Board of Directors and the Chief Executive Officer Alice Weathers for having the faith in our staff and support to continue forward to provide quality services to our homeowners in need. I've been asked by many people why I do what I do for strangers, and better yet, for people who at times can't do for themselves. I respond as a, it's a moral obligation to assist those in need, as we want assistance. Those of us without struggles at the present time, or at the present moment, are quick to assume that people with struggles deserve so because of their current social conditions. How soon do we forget that many of us are just a social condition away from disaster? How, you must keep in mind, at times, life feels a hand that we can always grasp. By helping one, we are helping each other to become successful and whole. When much is given, much is expected. It is my wish to give 1,000% to assisting homeowners with keeping their American dream. By doing so, we can help sustain strong communities, families, and positive relationships. That is why we, as housing counselors, do what we do. Thank you. God bless you. Network. He has over 20 years of experience working for nonprofits and currently manages a number of programs that help families secure quality housing, including housing counseling for homeowners facing foreclosure and the acquisition and rehabilitation of existing homes. Terry has helped over 2,500 first time homebuyers purchase a house and has overseen the construction of 300 new homes and 318 new apartments in Tucson and Southern Arizona. He has seen up close the effect the housing crisis has had on his community, and he is grateful for his role in mitigating its impact. Congratulations, Terry. Gracias por estar en honor. I want to make sure you guys are still awake. <laughs> Uh, the gringo from Tucson does speak some Spanish. <laughs> so this is a great honor in all seriousness. I want to thank the White House and uh, HUD, NeighborWorks, and RCAC, um, World Communities Assistance Corporation. I also want to thank my staff and um, people back in Tucson, uh, Nick Jones, Francis Salcino, uh, Richard Hunter, Pam Lohman, and Marie Patty. These are all people, as you know, it's a team effort. When you're doing this work, you really rely on your colleagues to get this work done. And if you don't have friends at work, um, then it's really hard to get the work done. So I want to thank them. Um, right now, it's, I, I just feel that you know this this is a, a great time for us to reach out and help people because I think, as we all agree, the housing crisis is not over, and it, I think it's a great mistake that uh, Congress has decided to cut. HUD housing counseling when we're still in the midst of this crisis because really the work that we do, we're a beacon of hope to the people in our communities. 
And I've seen families devastated with foreclosure that if we weren't there, what would they do? Where would they turn? So I just feel like it's a great privilege to be up here with all these other champions. And I want to thank all of you for the great work you do. And I want to thank everybody for this great honor. Thank you. Our next champion is Sheila Reddick. Uh, she is a homeownership housing council coordinator for the Jonesboro Urban Renewal and Housing Authority, a HUD approved housing counseling agency and community development organization in Jonesboro, Arkansas. She has been in this position for the past seven years and serves as both counselor and coordinator and provides uh, all housing counseling and education services, including one-on-one -on -one meetings with each client to go over assets, liabilities, development of a budget, uh, and registration for class. Sheila has been particularly successful in using partners such as lenders, realtors, title companies, insurance agencies, appraisers, and home inspectors to help her deliver the right training and also using all available resources for her clients, such as Section 8 Housing Choice Vouchers and Home Ownership Assistance, USDA Rural Development Direct Loans, local CDBG New Home Ownership Grants, Federal Home Loan Bank of Dallas Help Funds, and Arkansas Dream Down Payment Initiative Funds. A lot of layering financing there. <laughs> uh, anyway, congratulations, Sheila.
Thank you very much. And I think last but not least, from uh, uh, Orange County here in California, so I'm glad. Credit Counseling Service of Orange County, a National Foundation for Credit Counseling member, and HUD um, approved housing counseling agent, agency located in Santa Ana, California. In this role, she counsels one-on-one -on -one clients uh, and facilitates foreclosure prevention workshops. Stella is a founding member and a board member of the Orange County Home Ownership uh, Preservation Collaborative, a partnership of nonprofit government and business leaders committed to preserving and promoting the dream of home ownership. Stella has worked in the nonprofit housing arena as an organizer, counselor, and loan processor for more than 17 years. She began her career as a community organizer, just like our president, um, at a uh, the neighborhood housing services of Orange County. Stella was recognized as a 2007 Latino Orange County 100, 2011 Women Making a Difference, and 2011 Charging Rhino through uh, the California Reinvestment Coalition. And she's received other awards or certifications through National Council of La Raza and NeighborWorks America. Congratulations, Stella. Thank you. So uh, we do have 
one last uh, person who could not be here, but in your bio, and I think we have a little video of uh, thanks uh, or recognition from her. Stephanie Steen serves as Director of Financial Services at Brighton Center, a Northern Kentucky private social services HUD approved uh, counseling agency that offers opportunities for individuals and families to achieve self-sufficiency. Over 10 years, Stephanie led financial services to develop a full continuum of financial service programs, including foreclosure intervention, uh, prevention, home ownership, reverse uh, mortgage counseling, individual uh, IDA accounts, budget and credit counseling, and volunteer income tax assistance site services. Stephanie has engaged in banking, lending, insurance, and many local business leaders and volunteers to serve over 2,000 individuals in 2011. Stephanie is proud of the hard work and passion that drives families to seek solutions to their financial goals, and she is proud of her colleagues who have risen to meet the great needs. Congratulations to Stephanie. Unfortunately, uh, due to an illness in her family, she was unable to attend, but um, has sent this uh, video acceptance in her honor. Selected a champion in change. I was thrilled and literally quite speechless. Then I was proud of my team for all their hard work and dedication that has contributed to this award. This award is about the families that we serve and the impact that we've made in their lives. I'm also proud to represent an agency that is supported and trusted by HUD to offer struggling families hope for their future through our continuum services. I am thankful for our local partners, the lenders, the bankers, the many volunteers, and the local business owners that have offered resources to us, and they deserve our gratitude, always. For 45 years, Brighton Center has offered individualized options with respect of diverse values and the right for individuals to make their own choices. This has influenced our service framework we now call Financial Opportunity Center. Our structure allows us to provide highly effective reinforcement of services that draw people of any critical need into a broad selection of supports, ranging from food, shelter, and clothing to financial education and workforce training. I am gratified for this opportunity to showcase financial services and Brighton Center and perhaps influence these collaborative models of service. Thank you so much. here in just a minute and um, Ophelia is going to close out the program for us but I just want to conclude my own remarks by saying uh, these folks are clearly clearly uh, extraordinary and we thank them for uh, their courage to come here today and to stand up and uh, share their stories uh, it's very very uh, important so let's give a round of applause Extraordinary people. They've told their stories. 
Uh, they represent clearly, however, um, housing counselors all across this country. And uh, we would love it if uh, you would share your stories as well. Uh, there is a um, whitehouse.gov uh, website uh, or at hud.gov or Twitter through Facebook. Uh, but however you can share your stories, I think, as you've heard today, getting the word out about what housing counselors do and the help that they provide to people um, is, a, is a big inspiration and a, a hope for those uh, in need. So uh, please uh, share your stories as we uh, go forward here. Thank you all very much, and I'll turn it back to Ophelia. I'm not exactly sure if many of you come from areas of the country where there's a lot of snow and things on the ground and I'm looking out the window in San Francisco there's a little bit of fog and the airport shuts down. It's like, people, this is not weather, let me tell you. But um, I am glad that I got here for the most important part of the program, which was to hear, as Carol said, these extraordinary stories of these 11 champions who are doing such great work and are really just representatives of all of you who are out there. All of you are champions. Um, you know, I don't think probably since the 1930s that there has been a time when the kind of work that you do has been so important. One of the things that I've been thinking about, and Carol was sort of alluding to some of the technology and ways to tell your story. Americans are great with ingenuity, and I'll bet you the settlement hadn't been announced 20 seconds and there were people out there already figuring out how to scam. And that's why it's so important that you tell the work that you do, that Congress understands the value of how you help people not be scammed, how you help people figure out whether they're really at a point in their lives where they're ready for home ownership. And you know, that kind of work is really, really critical. You are all so exceptionally well trained and you know, I know that there's a lot of things. You choose a path about where you go in life. Choose the path with heart. And obviously you have all chosen the path with heart. And I think it was um, Sheila who said that you know, there's a new day dawning for housing counseling. And I have to tell you, I've known Carol Delante for many more years than we'll say. And uh, she and the great team at the Santa Ana Hawk, and I'm sure that other uh, hawks throughout the, um, our country that work with HUD, you know, this is a new day. This is people focused on how to streamline these programs and how to make them more effective and how to really work with you all as the kind of partners that we want to be so that we're really effective in delivering the services to the communities of the kind of work that you do. So my congratulations to the 11 champions and to all of you for all the work that you do. And uh, I hope you've had a great session. And also let me thank NeighborWorks for letting us share this venue with them for this important program. So thank you all so much.
Game is so bad at low light. <laughs> All fussy. Huh? I don't know. <laughs>